<laughs> Yellow! It's rocking. That actually was really funny. Um, I'll tell you why later. Okay, so the topic is, um, what did I write? Um, antique, antique finds for Life Flight, I think. I don't even remember. But anyways, I tagged a friend of mine and she has no idea why. Um, she is not with me, but in spirit she is. Um, and I thought about her today. And I went to my favorite place in the world. One of my favorite places. Um, not a specific place, but I went to an antique shop. And um, it was actually the Antique Mall in Spring. And I came across a couple things. And, you know, sometimes you just have to get them. Because you never know when you're going to see them again. But anyway, so I have some things in here that I'm going to pull out and show you. And I'm probably way more excited than half of you, but I will tell you why. I have been, um, God has placed a few people in my path um, over the last few days. And after the third one, that's confirmation, right? And um, it's all been about relationship um, struggles and such. And so I was going to make a video today, um, this morning actually, on relationships and like the three different scenarios of um, stories that I've been told just this week. And um, I didn't get the chance to do that, but then I wanted to share this stuff with you. And then it's interesting because I'm going to be able to tie it into relationships and hope that it's not like a whole hour movie. But if it is, I mean, who doesn't want to spend an hour with me? No, I'm just kidding. All right, Grace. Okay, so I don't even know where to start. Okay, y'all. This right here is something that I had whenever I was a little girl. And it is so crazy. I can't even explain it. But it's like the specific one. And it is. This is the first thing. There's a couple things in this bag. Are y'all ready for this? Because this right here is just too much. Okay. Okay. This is Barbie, but this just isn't any Barbie. This is Barbie from Baywatch. And I absolutely loved her. I had the same one with a dolphin. And I have a best friend, Ashley, um, who is like what I call my Barbie. Yes, you tell them. Um, but this is like Barbie and and I, she named me Dolphin and it has been like this thing. But it's so interesting because it says like Baywatch. Favorite TV show, realistic dolphin sounds. Lifeguard Barbie rescues her dolphin friend. And my Barbie, Ashley, has rescued me a lot. Um, and now I'm trying to rescue her. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyways, um, <laughs> kind of. But so... In this package, it has, like, a sun visor, binoculars, which is, like, my thing because my vision, like, I always talk about binoculars, and then a Frisbee, and um, that's a whole other story. But um, it's funny. I was showing Cash, and he has no, like, he knows Barbies, but he was like, this is this is weird. And he was like, I thought it was said Life Flight. And I was like, actually, that's kind of what Life Flight tries to do. He tries to, uh, not he, it's not he, um, but trying to save people's lives. You know, um, it's crazy. It's like, look, a dolphin's in trouble, shouts Barbie. Ken jumps on his wave runner, roar, goes the motor as he races across the water and quickly saves the dolphin. Listen, she's so happy she's talking, explains Barbie, petting her dolphin. I think we've got a new friend. Um, but anyways, you can't have Barbie without Ken. <laughs> Yes, this really happened, y'all. I bought Barbie and Ken. Um, and I had him, too. And he is a, a wave runner. Um, this is just so crazy. They're $28, and I'm 28 years old, and Ashley is 28. I don't know. This is all just... Actually, I think she just turned 29. But anyway, so what's so crazy about this is... I have one more thing to show you before I can share my message. What are you doing? 
Okay. So then, whenever you get Barbie and Ken, what do you get? A baby. Um, but last time I checked, Barbie didn't have a wedding ring. And I'm talking about Barbie and Ken. I'm not talking about anyone else. Just saying. I'm guilty too, but you get a baby. And it says, everything you need. Feed, dress, and ways to put her to sleep. Kelly. Gotta have Kelly. There's Kelly. She even has like a little old-timey dress. I mean, this is too much. This is just... Oh, my gosh. And then... Y'all, I know. This is crazy. But little redheads... I don't know. They got away to my heart. And so, and it said career day. Had to get her. Never met her before, but I met her today. Her name is Lorena. Lorena. Marina. I had a birth control name, Marina, once. Okay, but it says ballerina. Kelly Club. Little redhead ballerina. Okay, but anyways. Oh, she even comes with a free backpack. What you know about that? So, I'm sharing this because um, I saw these today and had to get them because I don't even care if they're going to be worth anything one day. But they're worth something to me. Um, and it might just be this message. I don't know. But the message is on relationships. And just this week, y'all, and it's only, I guess it is Thursday, but like in three days, I've had three people reach out to me about relationships and all, um, everyone has a different story. Um, it's crazy, but if I can save anybody, I would love to. Um, the most common thing I hear is... That's the most common thing I hear, her. No. Um, she's talking, huh? He's going to be a talker. You're going to be talking. But the most common thing that I always hear is like, um, you know, I thought we were going to be together. I thought this was going to work out. Like, I've done everything. I've tried everything. I hate to break it to you, and I'm just spilling the beans, but... You are not in control of how things work out. The man upstairs is. And the thing that does not get taught in school, actually there are a few things that are very, um, there are very important things that don't get taught in school. One of them is a relationship with God. That does not get taught in school, but that's okay because I'm here to try to help. Um, the second thing would be your your credit and your, you know, your love life and the laws and the, um, they're all the things that are in the Bible that we just don't get. Um, but marriage is something that's very important. And, you know, a lot of people, they think that, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do it this way. Like, what's the, like, why does it have to be this way? This is 2019. Well, guess what? In 2019, that's why things aren't working like they did in 1819, okay? Because people are doing things their way and not his way. And his way is the way, the truth, the life, the, you know, the way to go. Um, sounds very simple. I'm just as guilty too. Y'all don't get me messed up and twisted. But I will say that um, I know that good things are coming. And God has a great uh, future for me and a marriage and a, a very strong marriage and happy and successful marriage. And no, it hasn't happened yet, but I know that it will because it's in his word and I trust that. And, um, it breaks my heart and I know that God puts people in front of my paths for a reason. But, you know, like I was saying is these people are, there are these situations where they are in these relationships and they're doing things their way and not God's way and they end up getting hurt. And, um, the most recent one that I heard was yesterday. And it was someone and, you know, she said, I finally ended it. And I was like, well, I'm, you know, it's one of those situations you can't say told you so. But you're like, you know, I, I'm glad for you. I'm happy for you. I know that it's hard. I'm going to be here for you. I will support you and all of that. But I want you to know that um, there's, you know, something good is, is on its way. And God sees you making that change for him and something um, good will happen. And you know, she just looked at me and she was like, but he was my best friend, you know, for like two years. And I was like, I get it. You know, I had a couple of best friends. I had 
Um, Cash's dad was my best friend for seven years, okay? Um, and my ex was my best friend for five. But sometimes um, you have to separate yourself from even your best friends. And rather, whether any type of relationship you're in, it can be toxic. And it is very important that any relationship that you have, whether if it's with someone that, um, you know, that's a a whatever sexual relationship or whatever or just a relationship with a friend they you have to choose the right friends and um you know if you hang out with you know this type of person then you tend to be that type of person and now I'm not saying don't hang out with um people that are not like minded but you just have to manage your time well okay um but it's I don't know even, I do know, but I don't know everything or even how to come about it. But like this is, um, it's just one of those things where we have, we know, we think we know what we want in our minds. And so we go after it and come to find out what we really want is not what we want. In fact, it's the thing that um, we don't want and that is that hurts us the most. And, um, you, you, I cannot say it enough. I went to the college, um, a few weeks ago and had a booth there. And this even goes with your, your career, you know, people in their careers talk about career day, career Barbie. Um, but you know, people sit there and they think that they want this career, this, Oh, I want to work in wherever, um, you know, it's just so great. And then you talk to someone who works there and you really talk to them and, and find out what was, you know, what's really happening. And they are so unhappy. The work environment's terrible. The people are treating them wrong and all this stuff. So it's like, you don't know what you really want until you have a relationship with God. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart and I cannot stress that enough. Um, something that gets me, it, I think I've said it on a video before, but I'll just repeat myself is, you know, I was, you know, let me backtrack. I was at the college a few weeks ago and I was asking, um, the kids like at my booth, um, that would come over or I say kids, they're, you know, there's some that were even older than me, but I said, what are you going to school for? Did you know that 90% of the people that came up to me and that I asked that question to said, I don't know. So you're wasting your parents' money. You have no clue. And it, you know, it's one of those things where they literally had no clue. Yeah, I'm taking this, this, and this. I'm just trying to find myself. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Well, the fastest way to find your purpose in in my eyes, the only way to find your purpose is through God's word. Period. The end. Done. End of that book. Um, but it's so true. I cannot stress it enough. There's so many people out there just trying to find their purpose, trying to find what they want. But really, you need to be searching for what you don't want and, um, and searching for answers the right way. And before you can have a relationship with anyone that's not toxic and that is fulfilling and brings you joy and and is a real deep honest relationship and before you can find your purpose you have to have a relationship with God um I just saw a post like earlier today that was talking about um religion look it's not about a religion it's about a relationship someone wrote something about who thinks they should put prayer back in school or who thinks um they need to put religion in school. No, we don't need to put religion in school. And then there was like all these comments about, oh, well, what religion are you going to put this or that or this or that? No, you just need to put the principle in school. <laughs> and the principle is biblical truth. And it is it's it is not a religion. It's just a way to have a relationship with the Lord. It's, I don't care who you are, what you believe. Okay, it's just facts. It's black and white. Um, you, you can be given the resources and it's your choice to use them or not. Okay. 
Um, that's the world that we live in. There's resources for everything. People are coming or people are having relationship problems. And instead of going to a counselor, a resource, a, uh, you know, a group about it or anything like that, where are they going? They're going to social media and they're telling everybody else about it that has no clue or that's just wants to gossip with them because, or can, ugh. it drives me crazy. And I did it too. Okay. I was in um, toxic relationships. I've been in this. I've been in that. I've been through it all. I have not been through it all. Um, but I, more than anything, just want to share, you know, what I have been through and what hurt me so that if you're going through it, it won't hurt you. And then the way that I overcame it. And I've always, 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 if I was having pain from a relationship, one of the first things I would do is look up quotes. Mo like, um... I would literally like Google or Pinterest quotes on positive um, healing, uh, you know, relationship pains. Like I would literally type this in and it would just give me quotes that were very uplifting. And little did I know, those weren't just quotes that someone just like came up with in their head and that made me feel better. They were scripture. They were words from the Bible that somebody made those quotes with. Um, and, a, you know, people don't know that. And... I didn't know it until, bless you, um, until I started reading the word and getting in the word. And um, I was like, oh, well, there's some dots that are connecting. You know, I didn't, I saw everyone around me, you know, not married, living together, having kids. So I was like, ah, oh, what's the harm? I can just do it too. And I did. And guess what? It wasn't a thing to do because the one thing I wanted was a happy family. Barney. Actually, look. <laughs> Barney. He was like one of my favorite little characters growing up. His song, I loved. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss for me to you. Don't you know you love me too? All I wanted was a happy family. And guess what? I went around, went and tried to make my own happy family instead of putting God in the middle of that family. And me did not get happy family. Um, I'm very happy now. And I went through a lot and I am very thankful for um, the people that God put in my life. But I didn't get what I wanted. I wanted that, you know, the same, you know, this is my mom, this is, or this is a mom and a dad and a kid. And we're going to be married. We're going to be married forever. Nothing can break that. And guess what? Little Roxanne did it her way. And it didn't work. Um, and now I know why. Like, it all makes sense. And I will absolutely not, you know, I said I would not have a kid until I get married. But then Grace came. And um, didn't even have to get pregnant to have her. But that was a blessing from God. And that was him showing me, like, hey, I can give you that little girl that you've been praying for um, for all these years and you're not going to get it in the way that you want. You're going to get it in the way that I want to give it to you. And it's just so crazy the way life works. But um, God is a is a crazy man and he does amazing, crazy things through blessings and prayer. And all you have to do is have a relationship with him. And it's easy. It's, it's simple words. It's you asking for forgiveness for the things that you've done wrong. And receiving, um, you know, receiving his love and his promise and just trusting that he will do um, what you've asked him or what you're wanting. There are unanswered prayers, but he does that upon obedience. If you're obedient to him and you do the right things and you do what you know is right and then continue to learn about him and his word and allow him to educate you he will show you what's right and so then you can yield start yielding to things and stop doing things that are wrong and then he will start showing you and giving you a vision through binoculars the first day um i left my job i uh i was given my my five-year gift that, that I didn't get because the system was messed up or something. And I got binoculars. They speak to me in so many ways. I had been, and they were literally, they delivered and were in my mail the last day um, after I'd put in 
by two weeks and everything. So it was really crazy. God has amazing timing and um, opens doors and gives you things. Grace, perfect example that you never thought you'd get. Um, and one of the reasons why I love going to antique shops is because I lost everything as a child. Um, we threw, it was through a series of things. Um, I had things that I lost in the flood of 94 um, that, you know, I didn't get. I barely had any pictures. We ended up getting some throughout the years. Um, and then whenever my grandmother died, lost more stuff. One second. Hey, Sissy. What? Did this come out? You feel mm -hmm. thirsty? Yes. 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 Oh, come on. Oh. All right. Oh. Um, and then, yeah, you can't play with the Barbie. But then I didn't, I didn't get to, um, I had things that, you know, after that, but then whenever my grandmother died, we lost more things. And then after, um, we had to put all of our stuff in storage because my dad's, um, and my, uh, the whole drug addiction and all the craziness then we lost more things and so there these are things that I did have at one time and and there are things you know I don't have a grand I don't have any grandparents like I don't get the opportunity to go to my grandma's house or go to my mom's house or my dad's house and go and look at things that um were memories like from whenever I, I was a kid I don't have that and that's why I appreciate antique places and and little thrift shops and stuff because it like brings back the memories of the good times that I do remember as a child. And, um, and so whenever I go there, it's like, I feel like a little kid again, but I find these little treasures that mean that meant so much to me. And so it's like, I'm buying them back. And, um, and then one day I'll have stories for these little people that I love so much. Um, mm -hmm. You trying to play with it? You like the redhead doll? Yuck. She had an aunt that had red hair, huh? Your aunt? No, you should not eat that. But anyways, I just wanted to share that message with y'all and I hope it meant something to somebody. Um, I feel like there was something else. Oh, there is a couple books. Just to end it, I'll share these things. This is crazy. This is actually a special edition, the Astros. This was like the Astrodome. A uh, little magazine, but look. <laughs> Marble. And what's really funny about that is I took a picture. Oh, wow. It says, Surgeon General's warning. Smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancy. They put it right there, but they sold millions. 1988. Oh my gosh. It's no past, <laughs> it's no masterpiece without the French's touch. French's mustard. I don't know. I love old stuff. But, um, as most people say, I got an old soul. Old soul. Tweety Bird, I mean, come on, who didn't love Tweety Bird? I had a big, giant Tweety Bird that I got from Six Flags. Um, so, I love that. A dollar, we didn't have a dollar to spare. This, it says We the Kids, it looked like We the People. I don't know, we'll have to see what that's all about. This, it says, otherwise known as Sheila the Great, Judy Bloom, by the author of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. So, I don't know where I got that, but I also thought of Sheila. Yes, you. You know who you are. Very Busy Barbie. I think there's going to be um, a story behind that one, if I had to guess. 
It's going to be about a busy Barbie that is too busy and not paying attention to things that she should be. Oh, this. This is Moms Against Hunger. I need to show that on my page. That was a flyer that was there. I mean, this is reminding me of the show The Big Comfy Couch. Remember she would like have a couch and she'd look and there's a couch behind me. How weird is this? She like pulls stuff out like, hey, might be onto something here. Okay, little, I didn't even know I got this. I was going to say maybe cash snuck it in, but you aren't even with me. Little Golden Picture Dictionary. Isn't that cute? Remember the little golden books? I love them. That was one of the things I did whenever I was pregnant. I am really rambling right now, but that's okay. And look, the first thing. Airplane. <laughs> An apple. Where it all started. Um, But, here's Sissy. Mm -hmm. The, here. Ooh. Um, what was I about to say? This is not... Oh, yeah, whenever I was pregnant, I would always buy books from the resale shops. And I... Cash's bookshelf was, like, filled before it was even born. Toad flies high. That's it. But, anyways... Spirit... Of Toad Hall. That's funny. Well, hey, girl. What you trying to do? Um, it's like crazy. The whole thing's crazy. But look, you got the little train. Trains speak to me. Bambi. I love Bambi. You know, we. I was with, um, there was a couple friends over here earlier, and it really was so serious. So, I loved, as a kid, let me just talk about a few of my hit favorites were like Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, Lamb Chops, Rugrats, and um, uh, Barney, okay? I think it turned out all right. I don't know. But, um, you know, all of those shows, they taught like life story situations and and like real life things and then I <laughs> it was funny on my TV the the recommended shows or whatever popped up and it was tele teletubbies okay and I was like okay what does teletubbies teach you if you know and please share it but I as a joke really we push play and we watch teletubbies for like five good minutes that we could have been doing something else and there, I mean, nothing. I was like, and this is what's wrong with that age group. My brother loved Teletubbies. La la, tinky winky. Poe. Like, whoa, is really what I was thinking. Like, a TV on their belly. They're like living in a hill. They can't even talk. But, like, I don't even know what's happening. But... I don't know. I'm not trying to be the, the that one to talk about something. but And I said, okay, now let's go and rewind a little bit and watch a little bit of Barney. Or no, we actually didn't. We watched Mr. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And we kind of laughed about it for the first couple of seconds. But I said, but look, he's like literally teaching them like up from down and about a neighborhood and about real world things. And the documentary, if you haven't seen it, it's called... Um, what is it called, Cash? Oh, Won't You Be My Neighbor. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Won't You Be My Neighbor. If you haven't watched it, watch it. That guy inspires me. I love him. Fred Rogers. And he passed away this past year. A lot of good people passed away this past year. Like, uh, the Bushes, Fred Rogers. There's a list of people. Actually, I want to look that up. Because they were, like, some really good people in history okay but anyways I am really rambling I just wanted to share that this <coughs> appreciate bless you bless you yes 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 
Um, appreciate your grandparents. If you have grandparents you haven't talked to them in a while, like pick up the phone. Actually, go see them if you can. Like you are very fortunate to even have grandparents, but go have a conversation with them. Like they love you. They, you know, they need you. And if you don't, um, you know, the same thing for your parents. Like go have lunch with them. Go talk and learn about something that you might never be able to know if they were gone tomorrow like you never know um just appreciate the things you have and you know educate yourself on the things that are important like having a relationship with god um don't give someone your energy that you know can't commit, I guess, but also, we'll say bye-bye, <laughs> but also, you know, it's so important, like, I got a story for y'all, but I can't really tell it right now, because I'm already working on, like, probably 45 minutes on this video, but just know that, like, if you're not sure about somebody, or, like, if you're, I don't know what people's intentions are these days, if you're just trying to pass time, if you're just, like, I don't know. I mean, I do think that um, figuring out what you want is is good and um, dating is, I guess you could say, healthy. But if you already know that that's not the one or that, you know, whatever, then stop. Like, life's too short for games. We are not promised our next hour, much less our next day. So... Like, stop trying to waste someone else's life and give them false hope and stuff. It's just, it's gross. It bothers me really bad. Um, because people wait around for one person to change and they're never going to change. They're just stringing them along and, you know, they either end up having a baby and then they still end up breaking up because they weren't married, committed. They were not serious. They were not... Um, doing the right thing. They did not have God in the center. They had their own mind and thoughts and desires and wants in the center. And once that they got tired of that, they move on to the next person. So it's like you know your worth. Know, um, know your, know your God. Uh, know Jesus. Um, you should never give anybody more energy and more time than you give God. He should be the rock, the foundation of your life. And, you know, one day, hopefully sooner than later, I there's people out there that are like, why is she trying to preach? She does not even have a husband. I have a husband out there, and he's on his way. And I will be able to say, look, and share a very beautiful story with you all one day. And I know that, you know, God has put that on my heart. He doesn't give us desires that he's not going to fulfill. Now the enemy can work against that and he can put other things in your life to try to destroy that before it happens. But it's our job to yield to things and to educate ourselves and to be alert and to rebuke those things so they won't happen so that we can get the promises that God has for us. So anyways, for the 12th time, I'm going to go. But um, look, if you're not doing something right, don't, don't think that you're going to get something right. It's like that simple, really. If you do something wrong, then something's going to go wrong. If you do something right, then things will go right. You can't do wrong and expect right. It's like, um, what did they used to say? Greater than and less than, equal to, blah, blah, blah. got to be equally yoked to get what you want, what you need, actually. What you want, what you need, hit me up, I got you, mate. See? Okay, I gotta go. Anyways, y'all have a good one. Love y'all. Jesus does too. Do good. Educate yourself on the things that school did not teach you. If you have questions, ask. Google has a lot of answers. So does the Bible. And that's a wrap.